Hello everyone, I'm Rick V5. And I am Sandman99. And welcome back to Fallout 4 with G9-13. Yes, and in the last episode, we uh, were guided to Arcadia by Old Longfellow. And we've decided to keep him around for a bit. At least until we uh, get around to establishing a settlement. But for the time being, I guess to start things off, we need to have a drink of water. A drink of pop. <laughs> yes, all the coffee and uh, pop has been poured and... And, uh... You know, yep, all the pop. That all kind the of time. stuff. Yep. I guess we'll just sort of very quickly uh, and not too terribly thoroughly explore out here just to see if there's anything worthwhile picking up. So uh, anybody watching may notice that I've uh, sort of switched to uh, start trying to learn the gunslinger perk tree. Yep. And one of my favorite little guns is uh, the good old uh, Ruger Mark V. Which uh, this it, one's a two shot one. Yeah, this one has a legendary two shot. So it actually does quite a lot of damage, even though I don't have very much in the way of uh, perks for it. And of course, I've got a reflex sight on the upper rail and a flashlight with a laser sight on the lower rail. And all that other gadgetry that you see attached to it is actually uh, to do cryo damage. So when you add all of that stuff up, by the looks of it, it's uh, something in the neighborhood of about 120 points of damage per shot. Once you uh, add all of that good stuff up. So, anyway. Because uh, I also happen to have uh, Eddie's piece, and I was, which is a uh, gun that does additional limb damage. And I was doing a little bit of reading in the uh, uh, Gunslinger perk tree, and it seems like you once you get high enough in that, like once you get the fully uh, developed perks for it, uh, you can actually have a chance to cripple limbs just normally as well. So I'm wondering if uh, an effect like the uh, uh, crippling that Eddie's piece has would stack. Probably. But anyway, we'll go inside here and see what there is to see. See if we can find, uh, what was that girl's name? Akumi or something? Oh, you know what? I actually don't remember. Was, was it Was it Kasumi? I don't Kasumi, know. Kasumi, yeah. Kasumi, that's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the Nakano's daughter, who uh, decided she thought she was a synth, so she ran off to Far Harbor. Anyway, here we go. You know, when I first climbed this mountain above the fog... I thought to myself, now here is a metaphor worth taking in. You've entered a place of clarity, understanding, peace. While you're here in Acadia, Synthkind welcomes you as long as you welcome us. Okay. Well, um... Uh... I came here looking for Kasumi Nakano. Really? I'm impressed. Few would brave the kind of journey you've had for the sake of someone else. Kasumi is here. She's safe and unharmed, and you're free to see her if you'd like. Before you do, though, tell me, do you think Kasumi is a synth? Uh, you know what? It doesn't matter. Who or what she is isn't important. But it is. It's everything. Imagine just looking at your own hands and having to Well, in this particular case, I, I don't think that's too hard to imagine. Manufactured. <laughs> None of us take this transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie. That someone stripped her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't. I want you to understand that before you see her. She has a chance here to live as a synth, not hiding, not pretending to be something else. One more question, if you'll indulge me. 
You're here for Kasumi, but I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. Tell me, are you a synth? Yep. <laughs> I'll be honest, um, in the back of my mind, I've always suspected. That's what I thought. If you don't mind, what's the first thing you can remember? Huh. <laughs> Well, okay, this doesn't quite fit in with the uh, alternate start that you chose. Stuff that I chose, but uh, you know what? I'm not going to tell my life story to someone I barely know. Let's hear your answer first. I was in a laboratory <laughs> in the Institute. They were pulling pieces of my head out. Something about wanting to test some neural process. That was every day for months. Strapped down operated on and then I was out the Institute has fail safes to strip memories that could identify where they are how to find them but I do remember being quite content I was free that is my earliest memory now yours I remember being in my house the day the bombs fell. We... we ran to the vault. We were frozen. I was the only survivor. No memories before then? Just a single day and then waking up alone? We so easily accept what's presented to us as the truth. Well, I guess you Don't could we? say maybe that those memories were implanted by the like Institute, right? Yeah, I suppose you could. Yeah. People, places, even sounds and colors can change. Which would explain the dream sequence them. at the beginning. I won't lie yep. to you. There will always be other explanations. Trauma, disease, the background radiation. They all take their toll on the mind. But I can promise you that we will accept you, no matter what you decide you are. I've heard enough. Where is Kasumi Nakano? Of course. Kasumi is usually working down below. You can see her whenever you like. Acadia is open to you. Feel free to walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase. Did you need anything else before you go? Um, well, we'll tell them that... Uh, you the should know. The Institute has been destroyed. What? It's over? No more coarser hunts? No more slavery? But that also means the technology to make the synths is lost. Our origins have been buried. Not to mention the loss of human life. Sorry. I'm not going to judge the actions of someone who's wiped out a great evil. You have our gratitude. Is there anything else you need? Tell me more about this place, Acadia. All I want is to bring as many synths here as I can, and give them a chance to know what they really are. To embrace it. Beyond that, we just want to live in peace. I don't have any grand plans for expansion. Just existing as we are now is enough. Was there anything else? Who are you? What's your story? I came to this island over a century ago, hiding from my creators. It looks like for all intents and purposes, since don't age and they more or less live forever, right? Yeah, pretty much. With nothing, <clears throat> no program task, no false memories. I spent a year just sitting in a cave, just sitting. One day, it finally occurred that maybe I could decide for myself what to do, who I was. I've been doing that ever since. Was there anything else? So, everyone here in Acadia is a synth? Yes. 
Either they were escapees we managed to find before the Institute could, or they were victims of a mine wipe, and we revealed the truth to them. You're from the Commonwealth, like Kasumi, yes? I'm sure you've had your own experiences with my kind. I've been impressed with the synths I've come across. That's good to hear. I mm. hope your opinion of us only yeah, can Especially myself, right? <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else? Well, I guess we've uh, I exhausted all of, of the dialogue yeah, possibilities. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine. You worry too much. Sometimes I feel like you don't worry enough. You know we blew three more relays this week. I'm coming in. You stay right there. Oh, here's somebody we can talk to. Who are you? You track Kasumi here. I'm impressed. Perhaps not as quietly or efficiently as possible. But thankfully, she was never in any real danger. I'm afraid your journey was unnecessary. I wanted to see for myself that she's safe. You have my word. Acadia is a safe haven for synths. Were it not, I would not have aided anyone in reaching it. Every synth I've tracked down, every synth convinced to come here, has been assured that he or she will come to no harm. My job is to make sure they all remain safe, no matter what. Understand? How do you manage to track down synths and bring them here? I have a network of contacts throughout the area. Some from my time with the Institute, some after. I know the Institute's tactics, and use that to my advantage. You have Dima's blessing, so by all means, make yourself comfortable. Okay. So, what's your story? I used to be a courser, returning since that had escaped from the Institute. Oh, I was so you're actually kind of dangerous. <laughs> he convinced me of the truth <clears throat> and the error of my ways. I rejected the Institute, made sure they couldn't track me, and dedicated my life to instead helping synths find freedom. I'd like to help you all. Is there anything I can do? Actually, as a matter of fact, there is. If you're serious about contributing, well, we've got a situation I need someone to look into. You've had some experience traveling around the island, so you may be decently equipped to handle it. Okay. All right, I'm listening. We were expecting a new synth to arrive, and he should have been here by now. There's been no sign of him. And I'm concerned that he might have become lost on the way here. You have any leads on where he might be? You should start by talking to Brooks in Far Harbor. He's one of us. A synth. He's the one who meets the new arrivals and gets them started on the journey here. Of course, he's not likely to tell you anything without proof that you're working for me. If he doesn't cooperate, tell him that his designation is L-792. That should convince him. That's as much help as I can give you for now. Please, hurry. If that synth is out there alone, he won't last long. Well, all right then. Yeah. See, the way that uh, we started playing this, in my mind at least, G9-13 was a prototype courser type synth, which is why I started this character off with 10s in all of the physical attributes, right? Yep. Best to grab it now while you can. Yeah. Grab it now while you can. Um everything that's not nailed down. Everything that's not nailed down, you betcha. Especially stuff that has something? aluminum in it. Are you following me around now? Uh never mind. Alright. She might be. I have a drink of water again now. Uh -huh. Okay, well, maybe I'll come back and loot this area later if I can restrain myself now. There's so much to pick up, though. Uh... Okay, it's in the middle of the night, too, so I'm not likely to 
encounter any merchants. I just said that I was going to stop that, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. but you know, you, you gotta pick it up. <laughs> you, you, you have to. You, you can't yeah, not. Yeah, I know, I just can't help myself. Okay, well, it's the middle of the night, so I should probably try and sleep a little bit, right? Yeah, thanks for the bed, buddy, whoever you are, sucker. <laughs> Okay, well, what's for breakfast? What's for breakfast, Direct V5X? Uh, going on a stick. Ooh, how about, uh... Yeah. Squirrel on a stick and, uh, whatever? I need to find some place to do some cooking again here. Meyer Lurk Jerky. I've got all kinds of stuff to, eat, to cook here, Just it's just not cooked. Maybe that's what I'll do, see if I can find a stove. Is there a stove around here somewhere? Anywhere? You're new here too, huh? I mean... I... Acadia may not look like much from the outside, but it's all some of us... Okay, have that's just idle it chatter. wasn't what I was expecting, but... Okay. Hey. I assume you're not planning on staying long. Oh, well. Welcome. After a welcome this warm, who wouldn't want to just stay forever? <laughs> <laughs> Acadia is only as secure as we make it. We take unnecessary risks, we get careless, and things can go bad. Fast. If there's a synth who needs a safe place, then we take them in. Let them live as a synth, without fear. You don't fit that description. That makes you an unnecessary risk. It's nothing personal. Minimizing our contact with outsiders is just practical. Okay. Uh. You can relax. I'm not a threat. Just don't cause any trouble. Yes, yeah, I think she is following me around. You see that? Yep. Hey, are hey, you gonna man. talk to me or what? Buy something or what? Yeah. Oh, now you're too far <laughs> away. <laughs> uh, he's not too I'll far away. He's sure. just bartering resistant. That's all. Yeah, he's barter resistant. Let's see what he's got for sale. Oh, okay. Old Reliable. The two-shot lever action rifle. Okay. Sergeant Ash. A uh, kneecapper. A kneecapper flamer. Yep. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess if you... If you uh... That would probably work pretty good, actually. Yeah, because then they wouldn't be able it. to escape the flames. Yeah, well, also it's a like a rapid fire weapon, so it's kind of like, uh, you know, you'd probably all be almost certain to cripple a target. Yep. Right. Got any ammunition for this thing? Yeah, you've got a whole bunch of ammunition for it too. Maybe I should buy it. What do you think? Sure. Yeah, okay. It doesn't want that much for it, so sure, why not? We'll, uh, pick up the, f where is it here? There's flamer fuel, too. I mean, you, you, uh, for all intents and purposes, from a normal shopkeeping perspective, you have almost unlimited, uh, amount of money. Yeah. See, what this actually looks like is you walk into the building and then, like, several wagons of, like, giant garbage bags filled with bottle caps follow behind you, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because, uh, miraculously, they, uh, just don't seem to weigh anything no matter how many you have, right? I'll sell off some of these items that I found on my way here, too. Okay. I guess that'll do for now. The sooner or later, this thing here, I'm going to run out of ammunition for it. And then uh, it's not going to... You know, like I'll, I'll, I'll have an extra space it's in my favorites menu here once this thing runs out of uh, 
ammunition, right? And you'll just give that flamer a go. And I'll give that flamer a go. But I still haven't found a stove yet. These guys just eat food raw or what? Maybe they don't eat food. Is there a stove in here? Hey, look. Looks like another shopkeeper. Sounds like you got the all clear. So what's your story? Uh... I came here looking for Kasumi. Oh, isn't that sweet of you? That Kasumi's a good enough kid, I suppose. A little confused, maybe. But then, aren't we all? Not that anyone's asking, but I'm I'll not tell confused. You, it all mm. gets easier to deal with when you realize none of it matters. What you are, where you came from, let go of all that, and life gets simple. You must be the life of the party around here. Hey, if we had parties, I damn well would be. I'm <laughs> 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 amusing myself with trading. Don't have much to work with, but I'm always happy to make a good deal. Let me know if you need something. I probably won't have it, but let me know anyway. Okay, sure. Let's, let's see what you, see what you got. <laughs> Best the Cadia has to offer. Coming right up. Okay, who are you? Are you uh? Okay, not so much a weapons guy. Recon Marine chest piece. Is he, he's the he's the junk dealer. Apparently, he's got. Some oh more, look, he's got some more flamer fuel though, so we'll buy that. These guys have a decent amount of money too. Like if I found a whole bunch of stuff that I wanted to sell, this would probably be a worthwhile place to come back to. Kind of weird. I always thought old one fellow carried a lever action rifle, but he seems to have found a combat shotgun somewhere. I think he picked it up after that uh, first group of uh, raiders or whatever that you ran into. Oh. Those stairs go back up. Do find stairs down. Stairs. Bah. Well, I guess I probably <laughs> could jump through this hole in so the floor that here, but. So wonderful right? to meet someone. Yeah, I just uh, <sighs> sort of interrupted so that conversation in the middle of it. Stop that. Kasumi Nakano? Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. I'm a detective. I was hired to find you. You... you're a what? You came all this way... for me? Went to some trouble, in fact. Took a walk through the fog to find you. Look, my mom and dad... Uh, I mean, those people that were taking care of me, they wouldn't want me back. Not if they knew the truth. <laughs> yeah, you can work that out with your parents. I'm taking you home. No, you don't get it. I am not their daughter. I'm a synth. I thought if I just left, it would be easy. Well, you know what? You could probably find out for sure in about 20 years or so, because if you look <laughs> if you look exactly the way you do now, well, then, yeah, you're a synth. Yep. On the other hand, if you look about 40 years old, well, then I guess you're not. <laughs> Kasumi, I think you're just confused. Everyone has doubts about who they are sometimes. It's, that's part of life. I... I really wish that was true. If I wasn't a synth, things would be so much simpler. Acadia isn't what I thought it was. There's more going on here than just the refuge. But I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. I've been running long enough. What kind of problem is there in Acadia? It's a long story. I just have to figure out how to... Wait. Wait, you find things. Track down answers. <laughs> okay. Do, right? That's why you came after me. What if I told you that there's a secret? A big secret here on this island. Something way more important than just one lost girl. What are you talking about? Where to begin? You saw all those computers that Dima's hooked up to, right? They hold his memories or offload data from his brain. Or maybe some combination of both? Well, Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them, and, you know, I got curious. There's like a century's worth of life experiences in there, and 
That's when I see it. Data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. Plus, death counts. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? A plan to wipe out the rest of the island. Dima turning on Far Harbor? Now that would be cause for concern. You don't trust Dima? After you came all this way for him? I didn't come to Acadia for him. I came here because this place offered answers. And now that I found a place I belong, I'd rather not lose it all if Dima is secretly planning to destroy everything. Okay. Well, looks well, like this is the, can, this is where this is going, right? So, yep. not much to go on. I know. <clears throat> I've been working on that, but I haven't had much luck. I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then they come out later looking like they've been arguing. There's actually a storage space right next to there. It'd be a perfect spot to hide an eavesdrop, but it's been locked up. I've also tried breaking into Faraday's terminal since he and Dima are so close, but the security on it is crazy. Okay. Well. Eavesdropping on the next meeting sounds like our best bet. I'll see if I can find a way inside that room. Okay. Good luck. And come back as soon as you found anything. Whatever we find out, I hope there's a way to make some caps out of it. I swear someone has huh. the key to that storage room. Okay. Cock? He's Okay. So Looks like Always we've got a few different options here of things that we could try and do. Okay, well, you know what? Breaking into this room doesn't look like it's going to be very hard. Yeah, well, you're kind of an expert at that kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. Well, you know what? I'm starting to think I'm not going to find a stove in this place, so I just I might as well just have some uh, bubble, bubble gum. gum. Bubble gum. Because <laughs> it is breakfast time, right? Part of a balanced diet. Yeah, it's part of a good breakfast. It is a good breakfast. Yeah, just like frosted Cheerios. Yeah. That we can't get anymore. Are you going back to yes, that again? Yes, I'm going back again? to that again. <laughs> my God. I want my Frosted Cheerios, damn it. They don't sell them in this country anymore. Yeah. Well, we'll hide and wait. That's the thing, man. Every time you bring up breakfast. Uh, <laughs> it's time to put the Frosted Cheerios to bed. Nope. Never gonna happen. You're never going to see them again. Frost and Cheerios forever. We need to accomplish this without bloodshed. Far Harbor and the Children of Adam have a right to exist on this island. The same as us. They're going to kill each other, Dima. There's no stopping it. We need to pick a side now. Haven't we already picked a side? Building the fog condensers around Far Harbor wasn't exactly a neutral act. We couldn't stand by and let the people of this island die to the fog. Just like you couldn't just leave the Cult of Adam without a home? Giving them the submarine base was a mistake. The nucleus, as they're calling it, is basically one big fortified position. Far Harbor had cast them out. They have strange beliefs, but they have always accepted us for what we are. And Confessor Martin was a friend. Well, the new Confessor isn't. High Confessor Tectus is an unstable megalomaniac, and he's going to keep threatening us as long as we're helping Far Harbor. Guys, can we talk about the elephant in the room? We keep dancing around it. My old memory banks in the submarine base. I can't believe you never told me about those. I have to wait until they become a security risk. I know how it looks in hindsight. But at the time, it was an act of trust. Well, it looks like Kasumi's fears were largely unfounded. We were worried they'd accidentally trip the pre-war security <clears throat> and get hurt. Giving the children my old home, allowing them to safeguard my old memories. I thought our people would be working together. <sighs> Just how secure are the banks? How long do we have? And what's in them? I've gone over this before, Chase. 
I don't know what's in them. That's how it works. It's as close to forgetting something as I have, but I've run some projections of worst-case scenarios. If we do nothing, and the wrong knowledge falls in the wrong hands... So send me over there. I'll be in and out in a uh. day. We can't risk it. They know you're from Acadia. If you're caught, or even seen, then it's war. We should at least prepare her to go in. We're running out of options. I say we tell her how to crack into the memory banks. You've been working on this without me? It came up in a private moment, Chase. But yes, we've been writing a program that will let you access and download my memories. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. I'm finishing up some tweaks to the program right now. I'll leave a copy of it for you on my desk when I'm done. Get the program, use it to break into the memory banks. Got it. Hopefully you won't have to. We'll keep monitoring the situation. I only want you going in if we have no other choice. Okay. <clears throat> so it sounds to me like it's not he's not plotting to destroy Only everybody. I can think of to get rid of memory. But he might have knowledge about that kind don't of thing. Like what's in them. <laughs> yeah. Truth be told, it's half the reason I drink as much as I do. <laughs> Chill in my bones that won't come out. Too many nights out sleeping in the fog. Okay, well. But it does look like he's uh you know, like trying to accommodate everybody, right? Looks like it. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna have to unlock this door just because it's there. Nice. Hey there, Captain. What's up? And we'll hack this terminal too, just because it's there. Sweet. Even though we didn't need to. But I guess we'll grab that. Oh, look, flamer fuel. All the flamer. Wow, you're, you're getting like tons of that shit now. Yep. Well, you go through it in a pretty big hurry, right? This looks like uh, the place where they store all of the... Uh, ar it's like the armory kind of thing, right? It's the guns place. It's the guns place, yeah. Maybe we should grab that too, because if we uh, build a settlement and put in a provisioner, maybe he'll need a minigun. Collecting antiques, are you? I know, I just can't help myself. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop. Oh, it's fine. If if you're uh, not over encumbered, you're not doing it right. <laughs> yeah. So what what follows first, the uh, uh, wagons of caps or the wagons of stuff? Well, no. See, I'm putting all this stuff just in my pockets. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now we what do we need to do next? Talk to Dima, obtain Faraday's program. Okay. So I guess we should need to go and take a drink of water. Then we'll have to go and talk to Dima. Guess we need to go one level further up yet.
Hey, Dima. What can I do for you? Well, I know you left some of your memories behind in an old submarine base. That you're worried the children of Adam will get to them. You've been busy. I was hoping you were taking your time learning more about us. Huh. <coughs> I suppose you have. Maybe this is an opportunity for both of us. I can't send any of my people without risking the children of Adam linking them back to Acadia. But you... You're new to the island. Okay. What are you planning, Dima? Before I begin, how much do you know? Did you have any questions for me? About Far Harbor, the children of Adam, or my memories? Uh, no, I think I we're good. I know all I need to. Then my plan is simple. Pose as a recruit and infiltrate the children of Adam. Gain access to their base in the old command center. Guarded by some pre-war security measures, you'll find my memory banks. I'll give you the program you need in order to access my memories. Bring me anything you find. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. Okay. I'll get your memories, Dima. If we're lucky, the pre-war defenses have kept the children of Adam at bay. But that means you'll have to get past them yourself. One more thing before you leave. Whatever you do, don't assault the children of Adam directly. Our ultimate goal must be to bring peace. If you attack them, they'll consider themselves at war with the outside world. I've got no love for those mindless fanatics in the nucleus. I won't complain if Yeah, if I kill them all, then it'll be peace, right? <laughs> <laughs> peace restored. Hey there. So, you've talked to Dima. You know why we're here. I haven't talked and to this guy yet. Lots of talking in this episode, but, is yeah, fighting you know. For. Oh, this is how it goes sometimes, especially when you're getting into a new quest line. Yeah. You're right. It is a good cause. Synths definitely deserve to be safe, just like everyone else. It's so good to hear that. Very encouraging. Please, make sure Demon knows that as well. He's put so much of himself into this. All his time and energy devoted to helping others. He never stops to think of himself. Sometimes I worry about... Well... If I wasn't here to make sure his equipment is all functional. And that's not even mentioning maintaining the fog condensers. So many things to keep track of. You do all this work yourself? Mostly, yes. I get help from the others when I can. But no one else really understands Dima the way I do. Okay. If there's anything I can do to help out, just let me know. Well, if you're determined to help, there is something you could do. It's likely somewhat dangerous, though, so I understand if you'd rather not. There's a boat along the coast of the island. It was transporting <coughs> some hardware we needed. Storage drives. The boat never finished the trip, you see. So the drives are still out there. I could really use them here for extra parts, if nothing else. My understanding is that the boat wrecked southwest of here. So, does this sound like something you could handle? What happened to the boat? Why didn't it make it? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Trappers, fog crawlers, there's no end to what's out there. And what might still be out there. The point is that we already lost someone once. And I don't want to see that happen again. So, are you up for it? Yep, sure thing, sure. Faraday. I'll get the drives for you. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Well, you have lots of people to go shoot now. Yep, I've got lots to do now. Lots of... I've got a job from everybody, right? So I guess maybe we can be on our way back to town. We'll do a quick save after all that. Yeah, because F5 is your friend. Yeah. And then out we go, and I'm not sure how long this is going to take, so we'll just pause. All right. And we're back. Yes, and I was just looking in old Longfellow's uh, 
inventory, and it does in fact look like he picked up a uh, combat shotgun from somewhere. He also leveled up. I leveled up, and I uh, spent a perk on Gunslinger. Of course, because... Uh, What's good what a I'm... weapon, unless you have all the masteries? That's right. Well, I've got... Uh, uh, about two or three of the weapon perk trees now maxed out, so... Oh, here's the road. Especially including the most important perk tree. Yeah. Heavy weapons. Heavy weapons. Yeah. Yeah. Heavy gunner. <laughs> I mean, you know what? The uh, flamer seems a bit uh, redundant at this point, but you know what? I figured I would try it out. It would be a real pain to try and navigate around in here at night with all this fog. It's hard to keep track of where the road is even during the daytime in places here. Ah, who needs roads? Nobody needs roads. You'll be fine. Well, you kind of do in uh, Far Harbor because the forest is so dense that it's, uh, and there's lots of uh, valleys and, and uh, rock formations and things like that. And when it's really dark and or foggy and hard to see, then, okay. Uh, Bethesda invented the jump button for a reason. Yeah. Can't jump very much, though. I guess I should have become a vampire when I had the chance. Uh, see, don't you wish this, this game had a uh, acrobatic skill? Yeah, actually, uh, that would have been a really good idea, but... You could, you could go all the way to the moon! Yeah, well, I don't know that they should... Uh, you know, like, make something where uh, you can actually break the game with it, but... <laughs> yeah, that's half the fun. Because that's kind of what happened in Oblivion, right? They, there are so many different ways to break the game in that one, and I think we discovered a few in our uh, Oblivion playthrough. I mean, I kind of half already knew about them, but... Uh... The thing is, though, is you have to realize, too, that even though you can break the game in some ways, you can you still have to do all the fights and everything uh, as well. Yeah, you still have to work your way up to the point where you can actually do some of these exploits, too, right? Well, and then even then, uh, uh, even if you can, like, run super speed and jump super high, well, that doesn't really matter if you're playing on, like, the maxed out difficulty and you have to fight things that can legitimately still kill you, right? Yeah. I found the um, uh, absorb health thing to be pretty broken eventually. Yeah, you were a big fan of that. Oh yeah, because you can literally kill just about anything in seconds, right? I was able to get that absorb health thing built up to the point where I could uh, absorb health 100 points per second from every target within like 100 feet of me. Ah, why absorb health, though, when you can just buff yourself into, uh, a Superman and buff all the people around you into, like, Superman? There we go. Now we can do a bit of cooking. Get a little bit of variety into our diet here. The death-free great gate attack. Yeah. Plus, jumping over skin grad was fun. Yeah, yeah well, you know what? <laughs> The, like I said, you got to be the first elf in space. Yeah! <laughs> okay, I think that um, we're going to... Because I think somewhere over here is uh, the island where uh, this guy lives, right? If I can find my way there through the fog. Yeah. That's it over there, right? I can't remember if I had my bath this week or not. Uh, I think it's uh, more or less kind of like a land bridge kind of thing over here. Yeah, this is it. Because I thought maybe, you know, even though most people wanted us to go to Far Harbor, we can still occasionally accommodate those who wanted to watch a little bit of settlement building and development too, right? Yep. Well, you know what? And <laughs> also too, it'd be good to have some supply lines out here. Well, that's probably what I'm going to do uh, 
you know, like off camera, is I'll go back to uh, uh, the Commonwealth and uh, see if my lighthouse and uh, coastal cottage settlements have grown a little bit, so I've got extra people. So here we are at Longfellow's Cabin. Okay. Oh, but can't sleep in that bed. That's his bed. That's fine. I could always crash on the couch here if I needed to. But for the time being, I guess we'll activate the, uh... Yeah. enough materials here to build one of those uh, scrapping robots. I need circuitry and nuclear material. So if I can find some circuitry and some nuclear material in this place, then uh, I can just build one of those robots and turn it loose. Anything in any... Yeah, okay, there's... Dust. 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 Okay, we'll scrap the dust. There. Scrap the coffee pot and lock. Okay, there's the circuitry. So now we need something that has nuclear material. Which uh, actually seems kind of unlikely that we're going to find any here. Nuclear material in the outhouse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we, we might be able to buy something at the store in town, maybe, so... Maybe that's what we'll do, is we'll go back to town and see if we can uh, find a store. But first we need to build that all-important piece of miscellaneous furniture. Oh, the uh, water fountain? That's right. Every settlement has to have a water fountain. Because where else are you going to get water when you're thirsty? So uh, we'll just stick it on the wall here next to the workbench. There we go. Unlimited water. It just, just collects like the rainwater from outside. Just like that. Well, no, all the magical piping and, and uh, the well and all that kind of stuff just kind of automatically digs itself, right? Uh. <clears throat> okay, time to eat again now, too. But I did get a chance to... Uh, Do a little bit of cooking this time around, so if I can find what I cooked now, here we go. Probably drop some of this junk off in the bench too. I'm starting to carry an awful lot of it around. enough all right well well uh what time is it anyway here oh it's 7 p.m okay i guess i'm <coughs> gonna have to go and have a sleep and wait for morning because by the time i get to town all the stores will be closed anyway some sofa surfing is necessary yep that's right so we'll just crash on the couch here <coughs> to take some antibiotics and drink a whole bunch of water. You know, it's funny, but I just crack open a pop every time I'm thirsty after taking antibiotics. 
well uh, most cases you actually have to take the antibiotics with water so you know because it's a lot easier to swallow the pills anyway we need to find our way through the fog back to town looks like this is a path more or less here see if we can buy something that has nuclear material and then maybe we can uh, activate our scrapping robot to take care of a lot of this stuff because I think this is actually a pretty big uh, settlement area right yep it could take quite a long time to scrap all of this because it looks like it's like half the size of sanctuary right well once you get your uh, uh, scrapping robot up and running though you can just set it up and leave it and Go yeah. do something else. You go and do other more important things and come back and it'll have most of the stuff scrapped. I'll repeat, there are no police in Far Harbor. Yes, there is. I saw two of them when we got here. It's never easy to ask anyone on this island for help, much less a stranger. That I've got a responsibility to these people, and I have a job for you if you're up for it. Well, two people are talking to me at once. Yeah, they're talking over each other. The local police force, the louts. I don't want to start a panic. But, well, we may have a murder on our hands, and we need an outside set of eyes. Okay, where, where at? Where did the crime take place? At the Cliff's Edge Hotel, just north of the town. Please, you must help us. Every moment we wait, our residents are at risk. Okay, who's the victim? Who's the victim? Well... We want to keep this out of the tabloids, but it's Ezra Parker, the financier of the hotel. Will you help us solve this heinous crime? Who are your employers? Who are your employers? I shouldn't say out here in the open, but my employers are quite wealthy, as are the other patrons of the hotel. Will you help us? There may still be a murderer at large. Um, yeah, okay, okay, sure. I'll help. Oh, thank goodness. Shall I guide you to the Cliff's Edge Hotel now? Uh, I'll meet you Go there. Ahead. I'll meet you there. Very good. I shall meet you at the main entrance to the hotel. I think there was somebody else talking to me, too, here. I'll be straight with you. It's never easy to ask anyone on this island for help. Much less a stranger. See, now everybody but wants to talk to me, right? To Yo, well, they, they found out that you're the general. Yeah. General Aaron Runner. I know you're tougher than you look. Sure. Happy to help with anything I can. If you say so, we get our drinking water from a purifier not far outside of town. We had a bad storm not long before you got here, and it must have damaged the fog condensers that protect the road to the purifier. I sent Howard Dunbar out to fix them. He was out there when the Mirelarks hit us, and I'm, I'm afraid they might have got him, too. I was hoping you might go have a look. If the worst happened, maybe you could. Yo, lady, don't you know that missing means dead? If yeah. To, <laughs> like Red Eye it. says. It's paying work, of <laughs> no, forget I it. Missing means dead. <laughs> Unless I was willing to pay a fair share for it. Okay. What's a what fog exactly condenser? Are these fog condensers. How do they work? Well, I'm no engineer, but the way it was explained to me, each fog condenser pulls in the air around it and then condenses it into liquid. The point being, the fog doesn't get past them. They make a barrier that protects the town. No fog means that all the nasty things living in it stay in it. They don't venture out too often. The fogs are home, I guess. The fog condensers eat up a lot of power, but we've got a wind farm that takes care of that. As long as the There's your problem charged, right there. <laughs> yeah. Should be all oil and gas. Yeah, fossil can you say fossil fuels? Oil and gas. Am I going to need any tools or parts if I have to make these repairs on my own? The fog condensers need their power modules replaced, but Howard took the only spares we had. Either way, you're going to have to find him first. Okay. All right. I'll head out there now. Good. 
our water supply won't last much longer. Well, I guess you're just gonna have to drink pop. Yep. Okay. Well, let's go talk huh. to this guy. The mainlander. Great. Fire your gun a few times and you think you're some sort of hero? This is our fight. How about our if I fire my gun at you? Not yours. Huh. Hey, buddy. I was just trying to help. Charity makes you weak. <laughs> it makes you need it more and more. Well, next Maybe time I'll throw you back. off the top of the wall. What Maybe they'll eat you and leave. Here, huh? the next, <laughs> either us harbormen survive on our own terms, or we take the long walk together. So if you're here to buy some ordnance, do your business. Otherwise, take the first boat out of here. Before the children of Adam or worse get you. Okay. Show me what you got. You got it. You're kind of a dick, so I don't really want to talk to you anymore, but... <clears throat> oh, look at this. An, uh, a harpoon gun with the instigator. Well, that might be good. I've already got enough weapons, I think. As it is, I'm going to be uh, like that old comedy trope about the uh, well-armed individual who has to leave their weapons at the door and it takes like five minutes to divest themselves of all the <laughs> weapons <laughs> well get some more flamer fuel sure oh do you sell junk it doesn't really look like it okay Need general oh. supplies visit the bait shop okay guns ammo and souvenirs get them while they're in stock Hey, yeah, I wonder if I can... Uh, I probably don't have enough stuff to... to build what you need and pay someone else. ...to do anything with this thing right now, right? Yeah. I don't have any materials. Food. Stim packs. Fully stocked. Okay, well... In a deep fog... Let's go talk to you. Out there. Another day in Far Harbor. I need to talk to you about a missing synth. Yeah? Well, it's not something I talk about with outsiders. So you can either buy something or move along. I'm working with Chase. She told me that your designation is L792. Yeah, while this hey, person please. is standing right there, <laughs> eavesdropping, yeah. It's real private information. Yep. I know the synth you're talking about. He's a younger guy. Maybe early 20s with white hair. Goes by the name Derek. Thing is, he showed up way earlier than he was supposed to. Thought a courser was on his tail, so he rushed the timetable. To be honest, the guy was a wreck. He was scared shitless, looking over his shoulder every five minutes and attracting unwanted attention. Tried to calm him down, but he panicked and ran off into the fog. That was the last I saw of him. He did. Okay. Can you tell me anything else? I'm gonna need more information than that if I'm gonna find the synth. I wish I had more to give you. He disappeared into the fog and I haven't seen him since. Okay, Relax. sure. I'll take, I'll take care, care of, of it. Sorry. My nerves are a little shot right now. Look, if you're really going after that synth, I'm pretty sure he took the road south out okay. of town. Okay, he took the road south out of town. Way. Just be careful out there. And thanks. There aren't many who go out in the fog to help a synth, especially one they don't even know. I feel like shit about what happened. I really do. I hope you can make it right. You eyeing me, Mainlander? No, as a matter of fact, I was ignoring you. Let's trade. Happily. Well, there sure are a lot of dead, I mean, missing people around here. Yeah. Okay, let's see if these got anything that's got, uh... There's nuclear material. Yeah, we needed that. Oh, we'll buy that too, just in case. And that, and that, and that! Yeah. We'll see, by the time uh, I make another swing through the Commonwealth, I'll probably collect another... 25 or 30,000 caps, right? Yep. Okay, we'll head back to Longfellow's Island here and we'll build our little robot. And then, uh, how are we doing for time? We are closing in on an hour. Okay, well, maybe what we'll do is we'll build our little robot and then we'll call it an episode once our little robot starts working. And then we'll be looking for the dead people, I mean missing. Yeah. But I will probably, off-camera, make a trip back to the Commonwealth to get a couple of provisioners to connect with this settlement, because you can actually do that in this, this uh, expansion, right? 
Got any building plans for this place, or...? Uh, I hadn't really thought about it just yet, but I thought that because it's such a big island, that, uh... You know, I'm not really too sure how I want to handle it. There's no point trying to wall the whole place in, because it's so large, right? Okay, so uh, we'll just drop our junk off in here. And then we'll see about building our uh, scrap bot here. I guess maybe put him in a more or less central spot. After which I'll have to eat something again. Okay, Mr. Salvage Station. There we go. I think the settlement size is already large, so we'll tell him to begin salvaging. And of course, he won't get everything, but uh, he'll get yeah, most things. At he'll least. get the important stuff. Well, I mean, I'll have to come in here and manually scrap some stuff too, but uh, it's definitely still a labor-saving device. So I guess we'll wait for the beep. Maybe we'll have a smoke. That's a good <laughs> idea. We'll, we'll have a we'll have a smoke while we're waiting for our robot to get going here. Oh, there he just beeped. Okay, well we'll have a smoke anyway because we haven't made a hard save on the game in a while, so it's probably a good idea to do that. Probably. After which, I guess we will call it an episode. Until next time, I'm Rec B5 and I am Sandman 99. Have a good one. <laughs>